Hello, hello, Tammy Cinematics Gains, lunch break episode, because those are fun and short. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to do a quick episode because I wanted to show you guys um, what I picked up during the Mad Tosh pop-up, um, which was Friday afternoon and Saturday um, morning to afternoon. I couldn't go Friday because I was working, so I went on Saturday morning. Um, and I picked up a couple of things. <laughs> Yeah, um, <laughs> so I got a couple things there. I wanted to remind you guys of the monthly Instagram giveaway, um, which the drawing is this Friday. So if you wanted to participate, you need to go out there and pop in your comment so I can include you in the drawing. Um, also wanted to mention, I posted this on Instagram, but I know some of you guys aren't on Instagram. So the Xiaogu Forte needle set that I had, that I unboxed on here, I decided that I don't need it. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't need it. So I'm selling this. I'm hoping to get the price that I paid for it. Retail was 300 bucks. Um, <laughs> what was I thinking? Anyway, <laughs> from what I understand, they're either not making like, they don't have any more like this is a limited edition when I bought it but I think there might be doing a re-release I'm not sure I didn't I don't really keep up on all the news but if you wanted a Chiago Forte set and you were unable to obtain one during the original release you can buy mine I only used it for the unboxing video and I knit two swatches using the size nine that's it that's all I've used it for um so I've decided it's got to go um I think I mentioned on here there was one cable where the hole wasn't drilled through. I did reach out to Chiagu and they did replace that. So that will be in here. So all the, everything's good. And again, I still have the original box and all that jazz. So if you want it, first come, first serve. I only have the one. Eh. <laughs> it's going to go. Nothing's wrong with it. Like other than that cord issue I had, but you know, they fixed that. It's just when I need to use wood needles, I tend to reach for my Knitter's Pride because that's what I've had this whole time. So I, I like them and they're colorful and I have cords for them. In fact, I actually ordered more cords for those um, because I use the, um, the crochet hooks for my Tunisian crochet. So I ordered some Lantern Moon swivel cables because they fit Knitter's Pride. Um, and I like that they're, they don't have the, you know how most knitting, um, sets, they include those T pins and that's what you lock with. And I'm constantly poking my finger with it. Well, Knitter's Pride, some of their sets has ones with dull tips, but the Lantern Moon cables come with like an actual tool. It's like this big with the, the pokey thing. So it's so much more convenient. So now I have a bunch of those that I can put in various project bags instead of those freaking pins. Um, so yeah, I ordered a whole set to go with my Dreams Tunisian hooks. And since my Dreams Tunisian hooks, I also have the Dreams knitting needles. So I don't need the Chiago Forte. I know I bought it because, you know, musical instruments and black and all that jazz. But, and I love, I love the case. I don't like the outside of it, but the inside of it, like the usable bit. <laughs> I love that. Um, Benny. No on the bone. Every time I'm talking, you find a bone. No, no, get out. Get, get, go, go. And you, you're gonna knock the camera over. Bubba's, come on now. No, Benny, Benny, give it here. Give it, give it here, take it out. I'm not gonna edit this, so he's just gotta go. He's gonna come back in here, it's fine. We'll try to get through it re really, really quickly so you don't have to listen to dogs chewing on bones for so long. Anyway, <laughs> where was I? Needles. Okay, Chiago Forte set, letting it go. Um, I also have a set that I have not opened yet of the Luka, is it Luka, 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 whatever. The Luka <laughs> copper needles I bought and haven't used. I haven't decided if I'm letting that go yet because I have not given those a true shot. Um, I do have some, like, before I bought the set, I bought one single set, not set, pair of needles in, like, a three. 
So I'm going to practice with that to see how I feel because I think I've only used it once. And then if I like working with those, I'll go ahead and keep that set. But if I don't, then I might have a copper needle set that I'm getting rid of too. Eh, anyway, <laughs> when I redid the wall, I pulled a lot more yarn out. Um, mostly the acrylics. I put most of the acrylics in the bins and I moved my project bags to my regular yarn bins and I put all my fiber away. Um, <laughs> but I did pull more skeins. I don't know if I'm going to do a D stash or I'm just going to include those in my giveaway for the rest of the year. Cause you know, the Instagram thing that's through the end of the year, y'all giving away monthly things from the stash every, every month, monthly, every month. For the <laughs> monthly for the rest of the year is what I was trying to say. So I'm still going to be doing Instagram giveaways every month. Um, if it's yarn, it's usually going to be two skeins. If it's just one skein of yarn, I'm usually going to include something else with it. Like I might do a skein of yarn in a bag, you know, actually I might do that for, I got to find my giveaway bin because I covered it up. <laughs> But I threw more yarn from here in the giveaway bin and I have a couple of project bags unopened um, from Barley Pearls that are going to be giveaways. But I think one of them is the movie ticket one. So that might be a special here giveaway. And then the other bag will be the Instagram giveaway. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's talk knitting. Okay, so my woodland slash Alaska sweater still haven't touched it don't feel like like I said y'all I just wanted to do the color work and once the color work was done I'm just like meh I just need to do the sleeves I just need to do the sleeves and if I think about it there's color work on the sleeves so there is no reason for me to not finish uh, making it get out with the bow I see you anyway sorry <laughs> And, okay, so I haven't touched that. Um, I finished my super swirl shawl. Well, sort of. The pattern calls for, like, you do the whole shawl, and then uh, the pattern suggests that you block it before you add any kind of embellishments. Um, I do want to add the crochet border that they did. I want to do a crochet border across mine as well. Um, and then the, like, I haven't decided if I'm going to do, like, the additional weaving thing or if I'm going to do some double knitting designs or something I haven't decided anyway let me show you the finished shawl <laughs> kind of finished I haven't blocked it yet but it says to block it before you add all that so did I say that anyway <laughs> lunch break episode so I haven't woven anything but this is what mine looks like it's smaller than I expected but I find that because I don't really knit shawls much, they're always smaller than I expect them to be. And because I'm a big girl, like height wise, well, I mean, I'm a little wide, but I'm a big girl tall wise, length wise. I like things long. So I, whatever. Do I wear shawls? No. <laughs> I wear cows. I like cows. Why can't I wear a shawl? I like cows. Anyway, this is what it looks like. There, this is two colors, I swear it is. <laughs> they were super close. And I didn't want to pull any of my yarn from my stash, so I just went ahead and used them. But you can see, they're different. You see the... It's like different from here down. I don't know if it's that noticeable. Anyway. All done. So I may or may not do the embellishments. I might just leave it the way it is. I don't know. I kind of do want to do the embellishments here. There was some discoloration in the yarn from the ties, and that happens to me sometimes. Um, I will say like the DK, and I think we use the same supplier for our DK. The ties on that look fine at first, but once like the yarn is wet and it puffs up, yeah, they can be too tight. So that's why you see these little beigey spots. That's from the ties being too tight when the yarn was dyed. But I think it adds character and I think it looks fine. Um, yeah, it adds character. It's fine, I like it. Um, but anyway, that's this. So I don't know if I can count it as an FO or not because there's no embellishments on it, but I feel like it's an FO because who knows when I'm gonna do it. Like, really. <laughs>
done. So yeah, that knit along is still going through the end of June. So July 1st, I'll be doing a drawing um, for a prize, which I haven't chosen yet. It will probably be from the things that I pulled or it'll be something I've picked up because I do that. Some of the yarn I pick up, especially like some of the yarn I showed you guys during the yarn crawl, I didn't pick it up for me. <laughs> I picked it up for you. Um, like this yarn. This was the Arkansas Yarn Co. Y'all know these aren't my colors. They're so light. Um, <laughs> I don't do light colors. These are for you guys. When? I don't know. But yeah, I buy yarn. Not just for me. So, you know, judge me all you want with all the acquisitions that I get. But it's not always for me. It's so I have something at some point to dish out to somebody else. Um, anyway, <laughs> I finished that and decided I wanted to cast on something else. Even though... The reason I'm sitting on the floor is because my chair is full of project bags with whips I haven't touched in a bit because um, I haven't decided where I'm going to put project bags in use yet. I think I might buy a wall thing to hang them on <laughs> so I can have project bags lined up with projects already in them and I could like label them like these are sock projects and these are sweaters so like if I'm going somewhere like a trip or something I can just grab a bag. Um, speaking of trips the flock festival that I'm planning to go to in August I still haven't bought the tickets yet. Um, well, I bought tickets for the festival. I haven't bought the plane tickets yet because I'm kind of wondering if maybe I want to wait until after I see the oncologist. Because um, I don't want to like plan a trip and if something possibly is wrong, <laughs> I don't want to like lose out on my plane ticket money. Because yeah, I mean, I could buy the refundable ticket, but it's like a hundred bucks more. No, thank you. I'd rather just wait. Anyway, I'm not talking about that today. Um, so yeah, I finished, let me put this back in the bag just in case I decide to work on it some more. So I finished that and I started a new sweater. Like I said, it's in the bag I made myself. I've decided that this fabric is gonna be a yarn bomber tote because I have more of it from when I cleaned out my fabric, I found more. So I think I'm gonna make a tote with it. Because originally when I made this bag, or actually, you know what? All I need to do is cut out the zipper. Or no, I don't even need to do that. I just need to add handles on this bag and then I'll love it. I don't need to cut the zipper out. I can just add them on the outside. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna add handles to this bag. And then I might make a yarn bomber tote also with this fabric as like a detail or something. I don't know. I look, I made this. <laughs> if you guys hadn't seen it before, if you weren't in that, uh, that was a while ago that I made this. This has the yarn flash on the inside. Hold on, there's stuff in here. Show you my bag, which isn't what I came over here to show you. <laughs> it's fine, this is a lunch break episode, so it's gonna be short, it's gonna be short. And there's a dog in my lap and it's like a million degrees in here, which has me thinking my AC hasn't kicked on, which is concerning. Um, I also have the back door open for Benny though, so maybe that's what it is. Sorry, <laughs> tangents is hot. I gotta do something or call the AC company if my AC is doing weird things. This is the yarn flash fabric. Focus. There we go. And then on the other side, I have pockets in the knit focus. There we go. In the knit fabric. Because I thought it was cute. And it's very me. And I love this bag. And I kind of like it this way, too. Well, I mean, it's reversible except for the zipper. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I have any more yarn flash fabric, though. I have to see if I can find it somewhere and get some more because I like the black and blue one. It's available, I think, in orange, too. 
oh, I have the taupe, I have the taupe yarn flash fabric. Anyway, bags. I am planning on making bags soon. I have so much fabric. Um, anyway, what I wanted to show y'all was the new sweater. If you've been on the Instagram, you've already seen it. I started the Brooklyn Raglan, which originally I was going to use Yarnaceous yarn for, that beautiful hematite. But I decided I'm going to save that until I find another project for it. Because when I did a swatch of this yarn, I was originally going to make the Weekender, which is reverse stockinette. And I don't like the reverse stock in it um, with this yarn. I just don't. Um, <laughs> but I like the knit side. Show you the knit side. Isn't that pretty? You see a lot of, a lot of yellow in here. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I went through my patterns that I already had and was like, what sweater can I make with this yarn since I'm not going to do the weekender now? And the Brooklyn Raglan was just like, hey, make me. <laughs> so yeah, the Yarnaceous yarn will have to wait and I'm going to do it with, I'm doing the Brooklyn Raglan with this. The Brooklyn Raglan is a Raglan sweater, Brooklyn Raglan but it has detailing on the sleeves in a broken seed stitch, which I thought was really cool. And it actually, I was worried about using variegated yarn for seed stitch, um, but it looks really cool. Cause I think I made broken seed stitch socks, which I love, but I used a solid with the variegated. So I'm not doing that with this, but I think it still looks okay. I think it still looks all right. Um, so yeah, I started this a day or two ago. I'm not sure. Time runs together. <laughs> Sorry, I was sick yesterday, so I didn't start it yesterday. I think I started it the day before, I think. Um, I'm still kind of sick today. May okay, maybe it's me. Maybe it's not the air conditioning. Maybe it's me. I might still be sick. Um, anyway just lightheaded and dizzy and feverish, um, which is weird, <laughs> but that's all I've gotten done so far. I think it looks all right. I think it looks all right. Like focus. Oh no. I didn't drop a stitch though. I think it looks cool. Um, did I? I dropped two. I will say this yarn knit up like this. No, come back. Can I have that? Thank you reminds me of I said this on Instagram it reminds me have you guys ever seen glass gym corn that's what this reminds me of <laughs> so I kind of want to call it my corn sweater anyway this is what I'm working on right now um I am still I put the care call project on pause I did receive my additional skeins but now I'm trying to make up my mind uh, I got some tips on it would be cool to make, like it's okay to make a sweater and some tips on how to make it work with uh, single ply yarn. And uh, I think I'm going to do that. Um, but I still need to make a decision on if I'm going to undo my parallelogram and just make it a corner to corner blanket. I'm still thinking about that. I'm leaning towards making it a corner to corner blanket instead. I don't know because I feel like if I make a sweater it, it will make me feel like okay I can just wear this and then I don't really need a wrap <laughs> like especially if I make a cardigan like I don't really need a wrap I can just you know make a blanket you know I don't know anywho that's the knitting let me get to the unboxing of the things that I bought at the Mad Tosh pop-up um Sorry, there's so much stuff. I got my yarn shipment. Um, you guys see? That's all the yarn I bought. <laughs> That's a typical, but this is a large order for me, you guys. I don't buy my bear yarn, like a huge ton of it. I usually get five packs of DK and five packs of fingering weight. But I told you guys what I was doing, like with all the different bases I was going to try. And I got my... 
micro skeins to test my colorways. And this, do I have a 75, my regular 7525 in here? Let me see. I want to show you guys. This is the yarn I was talking about ordering a more substantial, is this it? Yeah, this is it. More substantial 7525, like a workhorse 7525 for socks. This is it. This is my sample. Buy two samples. This is the sample on bare undyed. But you see, it's got like a slight halo to it, but it's like more. Oof. This is what it looks like dyed. So this is this. Um, it's just more, you know, actually, you know what? Some of these are the same base that I have. Like, yeah, this is like my other base. So, and this will help comparing blue to blue. Um, so like my other base would be like this one, like super soft. And this one is like super sturdy. Can you see the difference? Maybe it's just me. Maybe this isn't like close up enough, but this is more, it's more uh, robust 7525, uh, which I think will work up great for socks. So I got five bags of it. So I hope so. And I hope you guys want yarn that's a little more for socks. So at least those five packs, if I can sell those five packs. And yes, I know I haven't updated the website yet. I know. <laughs> It's fine. It'll happen. Um, anyway, let's get to the unboxing of the things. Where did I put them, though? <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention this. I bought some Chunky. Um, where did I put... Oh. oh too far. Yes, there's two bags of stuff, but <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. What happened was <laughs> I walked by this one table and saw these colors and was like, fall sweater. Yes. Um, so I had to get them. They're in this bag. And then these are just the one of a kind that I wanted. And I got a package from the fat squirrel that I forgot ordered. Um, um, hang on one second. Um, yeah, I forgot I ordered this. So let's open it together and then I'll show the Mad Tosh stuff. I'm all over the place all the time. It's okay. Lunch break episodes are chaotic and short. <laughs> oh, I love it. You guys remember I bought this bag that had rabbits on it. It was from... They don't make bags anymore. forgot. Yarn Owls by, what's her name? I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> it was this gray fabric with bunnies on it. And I was like, this reminds me of Watership Down. Fat Squirrel had some bunny fabric and I was like, Watership Down, Hazel. It's so pretty. I look like a crazy person. I'm sorry. Look at it. Look at the Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I'm so glad I pre-ordered this. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like woodblock rabbits. I love it. And I think it's just plain on the inside. Yeah, it's just plain on the inside. Came with the handle. And I love that she puts these little lavender sachets in her bags because I keep them in there because it makes my projects smell nice. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. 
stuff makes me happy. Um, this is beautiful. And I just organized my bags. Pulled a couple of those to de-stash too. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway. Okay, Mad Tosh, Mad Tosh. And I haven't looked in the bags since I've purchased these because um, they threw in some extras because of how much I purchased. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. Um, okay, so the table that had the yarn that I was like, fall sweater. I have ordered yarn to go with it. You, oh, let me show you. And these are all the one of a kinds, which are very close to the colors that did get through. So they're just knockoffs of the same, like off colors of their regular stuff. So there's this one which is like a deep teal with like a black overwash or black glaze. There's this one, which, what's the name of it? What's the, what's the thing from Harry, Harry Potter, Fantastic Beasts? What's, what's the thing that the guy is, the, 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 the thing, <laughs> what's it called? I think that's what the name of this is, like the regular colorway. Anyway, it's like a deep, burgundy with a black overwash right <laughs> seeing a theme right and then this coppery one yeah yeah uh-huh and this green one uh-huh yeah uh-huh and this gold or more of a caramel more of a caramel I'm going to put them together in a sweater. Look at that fall palette. It's going to be beautiful. And I've ordered, because when I got in my car <laughs> and I was on my way home, I was like, is that enough yarn for what I want to do? No, it's not. Um, <laughs> so I ordered some more yarn in this base in another color. Kind of like, yeah. Kind of like this Sweet Georgia yarn. So this is uh, Sweet Georgia in the colorway Walnut, but the colorway for Mad Tosh, I think it's called Meow, like Cat's Meow. Um, and I think that's gonna be my base color, which I'm gonna pair with these. Right, right, right? And I'm, I can't decide if it's going to be a pullover or a cardigan, but that's the plan. And it's going to be stripey and like with stripes that aren't the same width. So I'm going to vary, vary, okay. <laughs> I'm going to vary the stripe size when I make it is the plan. That's what's in my head with these, but isn't this, aren't this <sighs> speaking, isn't this the perfect fall palette? Don't you love it? I love it. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it did that. Where did this go? This goes here. And I'm gonna knock that over. I will put this back in a minute. Okay, so that was that. Oh, they gave me another van pin. I'm including one of these in my giveaway this month because I'm giving away my Tosh yarn. Um, okay. So that's the table I walked by and was like, wait a minute, <laughs> I need a sweater. Okay. And then these are the one of kinds, one of a kinds and stuff. I'm not sure what it is. Cause she's like, you get this because you bought this. And I was like, okay, whatever. I didn't need this. <laughs> I have yarn like this already, but, but <sighs> black and white or black and cream. I mean, yes, but here's why I didn't need it. Where is it? Where did I put it? Wait a minute. See, now that I've reorganized it, I can't find anything. Oh, it's in the twos. <laughs> eh, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. This is a different size, right? Right? Oh. Can I comfort myself with saying that? No, it's a sock weight too. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Can 
should never have too much black and white yarn, right? Whatever, it's fine. And this really pretty neutral tone. Which I thought would be a good base for other things. Because I don't have a lot of solid, semi-solid neutrals. So, And I've been kind of obsessed with this sandy grayish recently. I've actually dyed a bunch of it myself. I'm trying to tweak it to like the perfect shade and I'm going to release it in one of my planned collections. Because I told you guys I was going to do that. This is... This is a one of a kind. But it's basically whiskey barrel without all the blue. Like there's a little bit of blue in it. <laughs> but yeah, I have similar colorway to this already. I bought two of them. Um, and you know, they look really good with this. Neutrals. Um, I'm obsessed with neutrals right now. And I got this because of course I did. <laughs> it's like a more blue version of Spectrum, which is my favorite Mad Tosh colorway in my, where is it? I have so many, I have it in so many different ones. No, that's my Labrigo. Where did I put it? Spectrum, Spectrum, where are you? Spectrum. Um, no, no, put that back later. I gotta stop doing that. Anyway, and then there was a special pop-up colorway for this year. So this is the pop-up color. It doesn't have a special name, but it was blue. Focus. There we go. It's pretty. So I bought it. Because it's the pop-up colorway. Let me see. Tosh Vintage, I think, is worsted. I have some Tosh Vintage somewhere. So yeah. And then, okay. Let's see what I got that was free gift with purchase. Remember to look up at the stars, Stephen Hawking, and down at your yarn, Mad Tosh. <laughs> That's cute. Some stitch markers. Some star stitch markers. The Mad Tosh logo. So, has free gift. Another bag. Ooh. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. Is that it? Okay, that was it. I got a free bag. Let's look at it. Let's, let's open it. Oh, a Dela Q collection. Okay, that's cool. Rainbow straps with stars. Come on. There we go. And a cute little canvas tote with rainbows on it. That say Mad Tosh. That's cute. It's just a little canvas tote. It's got a pocket inside. That's super cute. You put the strap on it. Oh, and it's the swivel straps. I love the swivel straps. Um, this is cute. I might actually take these swivel straps off and put them on something else because swivel straps. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's super cute. I like it. Can you not breathe? <laughs> Just breathe, breathe that way. This is cute. This is a cute gift. All right. Worth the trip. Worth the trip. I spent too much money. It's okay. It was funny because when they rung me up, she's like, do you want me to tell you the total or you just want me to swipe your card? And I was like, <laughs> swipe. <laughs> so yeah, that was my Mad Tosh pop up. Um, I really wish I'd been able to go on Friday because I feel like, I feel like I missed out. I hate missing out on things. I like to be there first thing. So I don't miss out. Um, like watching everybody's like uh, Maryland sheep and wool thing. I was like, maybe I should have gone. The weather was nice, but I heard it was way too many people and I probably would have gotten overwhelmed, especially with the way my head is right now. Probably wouldn't have been a good idea. But it would have been nice to experience it when it's not pouring down rain. Karen, I've only been to Maryland sheep and wool the once <laughs> and it was raining. <laughs> maybe next year. Um. Anyway. That's it for the lunch break episode. And I'm not going to edit it because why? Um, 
reminder, please buy these for me. <laughs> I need them out of the house. Um, and I need the money. Anyway, I think that's it, my friends. I think that's all I've got. Um, next episode. I don't know. Two weeks, two weeks, let's say two weeks or whenever I feel like doing it, but at least two weeks <laughs> or at most two weeks, at most two weeks. I could do another episode in like two days. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys are well. I am in better spirits because I have managed to focus my energies elsewhere on other projects, like moving all the stuff around in the yard room and finally putting all the stuff on the floor away. Um, <laughs> next project is my office. <sighs> so much paper to shred. Actually, I should probably do that tonight because the recycling place is coming in the morning. Anyway, bye y'all. <laughs> Have a good one.